All right, so here in Adobe Illustrator, let's go ahead to File New, and I'm gonna name it Loading, and then for the width and height, I have 400 by 400 points specified, and under Advanced, we can change the color mode to RGB because we're not dealing with print, so we're not using CMYK, and then hit OK. All right, so it has us at 144%, not that it really matters, but we can hit Control or Command-1 on Mac uh, to get to that 100% mark. And I'm going to take the ellipse tool and just left click anywhere. And I'm going to use 395 by 395 points. And it's just a little bit smaller, so it's not touching the edges or anything than the actual document. Come over here and take the selection tool. And with this selected, we want to specify horizontal align center and then also vertical align center. And that gets us all evened up as we need to be. So. What I want to do is get rid of this stroke that's on here by default. So with it selected and it is active over here in the swatches panel. And by the way, if you don't have any of these panels that I'm going to be using, you can always just go to window and then select them. All right. So I'm going to click on this first one and that just gets rid of the stroke or the fill. And so now I want to change the fill here to a almost black color. So if we double click on this, we can just choose somewhere right around here and hit OK. All right, so real quickly, we want to get out our layers. So our layers panels is right here. Go to Windows Layers if it's not there. And this is real important when it comes to the, the video, the next video, the lesson, when it comes to saving uh, the actual SVG file. Uh, when it comes to these layers and the way they're set up, um, by default, if we just keep on adding shapes or paths or whatever, it's all going to get added inside layer one as a path. Uh, so the way the SVG works when you export it, and the way we're going to export it, or, or save it rather, is we have to pay attention to how we create new layers and which, la which paths fall under those layers, because that affects how they're grouped in the SVG. So you'll see. Uh, so we want to make this uh, these relevant names as well. So this one... We're just going to call this container and we're going to click over here, new layer. And we're going to call this one dots, hit OK. We're going to come back to this path that we created and hit Control C and Control F. And that creates a duplicate version. If we just left click and drag it over on top of the dots layer, we'll see it goes inside there. So now what we want to do is I, with it selected, holding shift and alt, we can just drag it in roughly right around there. All right, so this time we want to get rid of the fill. So we have the fill selected, click there, select the stroke, and we're just gonna make it a blue color. And I'm going to increase the size of this roughly to around 35. All right, and then I'm gonna click on stroke and I'm gonna click on dashed line. Now by default, we can't really see what's going on here because the dashed line I had on, on zero, so uh, yours probably was set at something else. Uh, what we wanna do is click on cap and make sure it's round cap right there. All right, so the dash, you have to set at zero and then the gap 100. All right, so that gives us 10 of these dots. Now depending on how you sized yours, it may give you more but uh, this will work pretty well. And then also one thing to keep into consideration uh, is when it comes to SVG, the more shapes, more complex shapes you have, the bigger the file is gonna be since SVG stores you know, everything uh, based on code. All right, so now what we need to do is go to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke. So what that does is it gets rid of the path and it makes everything a, a path, or it gets rid of the stroke and makes everything a path. All right, so we can see it's a compound path right here. So what we wanna do is right click, release compound path, and that makes each one of these individual uh, on their own paths inside this dots layer right there. All right. So now what we wanna do is make sure we save this as an AI file. And so go to File, Save As, and we'll name this loading.ai. And then also hit OK. 
And that is it for this lesson. All right, so in the next lesson, we're gonna take this uh, loading.ai and then save it as an SVG. All right, I'll see you then.